My name is Kelly. Hi, I'm Kelly Kortz, and we're from the Management Study Guides content team. In this course, we will learn about basics of pharmaceutical industry in detail. So let's get started. Let's meet five different people. Mary Smith, Rita Roy, Jack Brown, Mai Lee, Edward Jones. Hi, I'm Mary. I'm an architect. One of the most common health problems that I face are frequent headaches. I even went to see a doctor about it. The doctor diagnosed that they are stress-related headaches. Most of the time, I take a headache pill that solves my problem, and I can continue working without discomfort. Can you imagine what I ever would do without these common painkillers? Hey, my name is Jack. I work as a graphic designer in a reputed firm. Recently, I was on sick leave for about 10 days. I was suffering from typhoid, an acute illness that's caused by a bacteria. I was running a high fever for several days, and the doctor had prescribed several antibiotics specifically for recovering from typhoid. I also had to maintain a strict diet and take rest. My condition started improving within two days of starting the antibiotics, and after eight days, I recovered completely. A big thank you to the companies that make such antibiotics. Hi, I'm Mei Li. I'm a professor of criminal psychology. I have written several textbooks on criminal psychology for the police department under government's orders. In order to write about the psychology of criminals, I often do extensive research. Actually, getting to know the merciless acts and the repentless attitude of some of these criminals was way too much for me to handle. So I underwent severe depression while writing these books. A psychiatrist I consulted prescribed antidepressant drugs, thanks to researchers who have developed such drugs for even mental issues and not just for the physical body. As you have seen, all these different people are suffering from various health issues. You can see how different kinds of medicines have made their life easier and helped them overcome their health-related issues. The manufacturing of drugs, research on new drugs, and producing drugs to make them available at affordable prices, this is where the role of the pharmaceutical industry comes into play. Let's now learn about the basics of the pharmaceutical industry in further detail. Here are the course objectives. Explain what are biopharmaceuticals. Explain types of biopharmaceuticals. Explain sources of biopharmaceuticals. Explain what are biosimilars. Describe the factors affecting pharma industry growth. Describe the advent of e-pharmacy in, in India. Explain pros and cons of patents in the pharma industry. Describe the high drug pricing issues in the pharma industry. Describe how to understand pricing of branded drugs. Explain market segment for regulation of drug pricing. List the characteristics of large-scale process manufacturing. Explain recipe management in pharmaceutical production. Describe inventory management in the pharma industry. Describe supply chain management in pharma industry. Describe total quality management in the pharma industry. What are biopharmaceuticals? A biopharmaceutical is any pharmaceutical drug product that is manufactured by biotechnology methods and is extracted from or made using biological sources, usually living organisms or their active components. They are also known as a biologic medical product. They are protein or nucleic acid-based pharmaceuticals that are produced from a non-engineered or native biological source. They are used for therapeutic or in vivo diagnostic purposes. Directly derived biopharmaceuticals and indirectly derived biopharmaceuticals. Let's look at each one of them in detail. The following are different sources from which biopharmaceuticals can be produced. Microbial sources. 
They can be manufactured directly from microbes or microorganisms such as bacteria, yeasts, etc., or using the recombinant DNA method. Plant sources. They can be manufactured from genetically modified plant sources or from plant cells. Animal sources can be manufactured using active substance from genetically modified animal sources such as mammalian cells, insect cells, etc. Human sources can be manufactured directly from human sources such as blood and its components such as plasma, antibodies, WBCs, etc. Some of the important factors that lead to growth of pharma industry are resources, deregulation, technology, labor, infrastructure. Let's look at each one of them in detail. Did you know you can buy a few drugs without a prescription or approval from a medical professional such as a doctor, pharmacist, or a vet? These are known as over-the-counter pharmaceuticals and are sold in a retail store or pharmacy. The price of drugs is going through the roof in America. This is also the case in many developing nations. In general, people are simply unable to afford health care if they do not have insurance. In developing nations, having insurance is not the norm. For instance, the average cost of development of a successful drug is said to be $15 billion. The price is so high because the company spends a lot of money on research and development. However, the majority of the products fail. This is just a demo of the complete course. With every course, you get to view the course content online, download the PowerPoint presentation, and get the course completion certificate. With new courses added regularly, we offer a continuous learning platform. Join our premium membership plan and get access to unlimited courses. All of our plans are backed up by a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you are not completely satisfied, we'll give you a full refund. We are so confident that you'll enjoy the membership that we're willing to let you try at our risk, not yours.